Catholic sister. I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. Happy Friday. I don't know what your week has been like. Mine has been very busy. (laughs) It's been very busy and there's some things that I really need to handle and take care of. So I'm still in the process of that. So guys, thank you for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate that. Uh, Go ahead and check out my playlist, guys. Go ahead and check out my videos. I have a variety of things of of videos I do on here. And I have my military corner where I do talk about military. I have military topics. So those of you who are in the military, new to the military, considering the military, you can go over there and see what I have going on. So... I want to talk about something and and before I say this, I want y'all to know that I'm not being insensitive to anyone's reality, anyone's pain. Um, Rather, I just give you a perspective that you can either consider or dismiss. But overall, no matter what you may face in your life and whatever you may go through, you have to decide whether or not you want to be stuck where you're at or take the steps necessary to heal and to be better so you're not always going to be able to blame your parents for everything that happened in your childhood even if they're guilty of it yes they're just in some cases they may have done some things that were not okay they were not responsible as they should have been maybe they did the bare minimum maybe they just completely abandoned you They did not teach you the things you needed to be taught. They may have even taught you the wrong way, meaning you learn how to lie, you learn how to, you just learn dysfunction because you were around dysfunction. And then you're going through your life and you find that there are things, in some ways you're handicapped, whether, you know, uh, mentally and emotionally. You just feel handicapped because you you were not taught the life skills and you were not given the nurturing that you needed in order to be able to, to, to communicate with people, to learn how to deal with conflict, conflict resolution and resilience. You're not given that. And even though your parents may have done this thing, whether it's your parents, a guardian, grandparents, relatives, whoever it may be, these individuals who were supposed to protect you and provide for you and be there for you and support you, even if they haven't done those things, and I know it's legitimate in many cases, the hard work, the healing process is going to be up to you. You can either stay right where you are, keep blaming them, keep hating them, keep that vitriol going, but You may have that, but you're going to find that often you're going to become what you despise. Because when you have hatred or when you have animosity towards people, you don't realize it really poisons you on the inside. Whatever they didn't give you, whatever you did not receive from them, now it's going to be up to you to learn those life skills And you're living in a time when there's so much information that's available in the form of books. There are things that's available in the form of um, videos, podcasts. It's like pretty amazing because you don't even, if you cannot afford it, you don't even need to go and sit down with with a a psychologist or a um, someone who works in this area, like a social worker. You don't even have to go sit with these people and pay this money because we're now living in times where all of this is at your fingertips. People who have gone through it, people who are trained to discuss these things. Whatever you were not given, now as an adult or as you approach adulthood, you're going to have to learn those skills. You're going to have to research. You must be hungry enough and have a great desire to change yourself and have a desire where you want to be better than where you came from. So you can't be, okay, your mom and dad or this, this the person who's supposed to be the caregiver in your life, they abused you and now 
you are going to become an abuser. And a lot of times people who are abusive, whether it's verbal or whether it's physical, a lot of times they tell themselves that they're not as bad as their abusers because they're not beating or saying or as mean as their abusers were. But ironically, it is very possible that the person who abused you or the family members who abused you in some way, they feel as if they're not beating you the way that they were beaten and they're not speaking to you and they're not doing the same things to you as before. So they validate themselves that way or they try to make themselves feel better. But to you being on the receiving end of it, it is horrible. It is, it's, it's life altering. It messes with you because you're the, they are the only abusers you have known. So what you don't want to do is to continue on that pattern of destructive behavior by saying, well, you know, my mom and my dad or my grandparents, they didn't give me this. I, I don't know. They didn't treat me good. They didn't send me to school. They abused me. They treated me in, in a certain way. And then now this is your excuse to go through life doing the same thing to people. You don't want to go through your life being this person that everybody needs to know about your sad story and about what happened to you and who did what to you. And then now you're being pardoned and you want to be given this excuse that you never had the love, you never had the care, and you never had the protection. That does not give you, that does not give us the right to go through life carrying it on. Now what it means is you can't blame mom and dad anymore. Why? Because you are an adult. Yes, it's important that whether or not they want to acknowledge that or not, they did this. Maybe they'll say that they're sorry, but a lot of times they don't say it. So now at this point, you have to give yourself what's needed to heal. So maybe you don't know how to be a parent. You don't know how to be a mother. You don't know how to be a friend. You don't know how to celebrate people. You don't know how to be happy for people. You don't know how to resolve issues all you know how to do is to either attack or to retreat and hold everything in and then you're filled with anger and frustration you're going to be breaking out on your face you're going to be snapping at the wrong people you're going to go home and kick the kick the cat you know yell at the dog uh pour the goldfish out down the sink or just pour out the water and watch him flop and die you're going to be doing a lot of passive aggressive things all right you would even find that even at you, when you're at work, things that you should be getting done, you know that the supervisor or you know this person needs you to forward something. You will be trying to, to you you'll be trying to have power in these little petty ways where you're not going to respond to an email. You're not going to send them what they need because you're unhappy. So what you do is to vie for power, you're going to do these little passive aggressive things, okay? So that's why it's important that you do the legwork. If you have the ability to go and sit and talk with someone, I would encourage you to do that, to sort through those feelings and see what's going on. If you can't and you're able to watch some things online, read some books, do the hard work and know that it's going to be hard work because you're going to realize as you go through these things that there's some seeds that's been planted in you where it's easier for you to lash out. It's easy for you to withdraw. It may be easier for you to do the same things to other people because now, because you were always hurt, you now want to be able to exert your power over other people. So sometimes people who have been mistreated, they'll go off and get a wonderful education. It puts them in positions of power where they are either CEOs or managers or, or floor leaders, or they end up in the military or in school, and they abuse people because they have the power to do so. So you're not going to always be able to blame your family and your parents. You have to face the truth about what have happened has happened. But once you're at this age of accountability and responsibility, you're not going to be able to lay it on them. It does not negate your experience, but you cannot have it. Otherwise, you're going to be abusing your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. You'll be abusing your staff. You will be abusing your neighbors because you're broken and you don't know it. Okay, you've got some sharp edges and you're jagged and you're just cutting people open. You're breaking things. 
you're just not able to function and what you're going to do you're going to end up meeting people who are just as dysfunctional if you behave in a dysfunctional way you're going to draw dysfunction to you people who are nice and kind are going to eventually just fall away and you're going to find yourself being around people who are just as vindictive or just as destructive or toxic so you marry that date it you meet the same type of people over and over again, and you may have people around you, but you always have to keep, you know, that one eye, like, looking around you. So the bottom line is, get the healing you need. And healing is a process. Facing those hurts and the pain is going to be a hard process, but it is possible. You may find yourself being where you are comfortable behaving a certain way, despite how you were treated you are comfortable behaving a certain way because in your childhood or in these times when you're around these people you built a fort around yourself and you learn how to protect yourself and you learn how to appear scary and intimidating in order to survive so sometimes you find you're always in survival mode and you're not really living and you end up hurting people and you end up inadvertently whether you realize it or not you become your parents to your children and no matter how you want to slice or dice it no matter how you want to say oh, i'm not like them to your family to those who are victims of your behavior yes you are they're just as fearful as you were they feel just as frustrated as you did they feel just as neglected as you did. You see, abuse, abuse carried out in a different way, in a different manner, in a different degree, does not make it any less abuse. So regardless of what mom and dad have done, loved one, grandparents, your family, you have to get that healing so you can supersede, you can break from the chains of what they placed on you so that you can do better. Otherwise, you're going to become exactly what they say you would be. No good, no successful, you're always gonna be her, you're always gonna be this, because you you took that in, and then you allowed your hurt and your pain to water that seed and it just sprouted up and you became that person, and then you're angry at other people. A lot of times, you're not, these individuals are not gonna be angry really at the person. They don't really face them. What they do is they're going to find individuals who are the opposite. So they're mean, they find a nice friend. They're un, they are they're bullies and they look for people who are more, you know, fearful. So they can carry out this feeling of frustration and mistreat other people. So guys, I'm going to stop here. I hope this video makes some sense. Just know that you can do it. It's hard, but it is possible. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.